In history, a remarkable figure named Marcus Aelius emerged as an icon of supreme power in the world. He distinguished himself not only through his lofty position, but also through his unwavering commitment to strict moral principles and profound philosophy. Unlike many other Roman emperors, he wholeheartedly rejected extravagant and lavish pleasures, such as excessive feasts and gruesome spectacles at the Roman Colosseum. Instead, he saw his mission as a noble task entrusted by fate. And with this spirit, Marcus Aurelius devoted himself to realizing his life's purpose. One of the core principles of Stoic philosophy, to which Marcus adhered, is the ability to discern what is within our control and what lies beyond it. Epictetus, a prominent thinker of this school, articulated this concept clearly in his handbook, emphasizing that most events, except for our actions, are beyond our control. This awareness not only offers clarity but also provides a profound perspective on our interactions with the world. Stoic philosophy doesn't advocate complete withdrawal from the world, but encourages us to accept and acknowledge our limitations realistically. It asserts that fixating on factors beyond our control burdens us unnecessarily. When life is filled with suffering, it's often because we attach too much importance to things outside our sphere of influence. By ceasing to be influenced by external factors, we regain control and inner peace. Marcus Aurelius' ability to remain undisturbed by external circumstances allowed him to effectively navigate the numerous responsibilities and challenges he faced as an emperor. This freedom from the sway of external forces enabled him to focus on the tasks he believed the gods had assigned to him. For Epicurus, this liberation from external influences could be a means to concentrate on meaningful goals, while for others, it might offer a path to contentment. In seeking a worry-free life amidst life's challenges, it's essential to discern which things we should cease caring about and how to accomplish this. This video offers a free exploration and interpretation of Marcus Aurelius's philosophy on caring less, as presented in his meditations. Marcus Aurelius repeatedly distinguishes between the present, past, and future, providing valuable insights into how we often invest excessive concern in these aspects, often in the wrong ways or for the wrong reasons. To structure our discussion, let's commence with the future. As Seneca once wisely noted, we suffer more in imagination than in reality, suggesting that our thoughts about the future are a primary source of our suffering. Our imagination tends to run wild when contemplating the future, conjuring numerous scenarios, most of which will likely never materialize. Faced with this, we ponder how to cope with potential outcomes, often trembling with uncertainty about how the future will unfold. In some instances, events unfold as we predicted, but in many others, fate surprises us with unforeseen circumstances, leaving us overwhelmed. Marcus Aurelius emphasized that it's not the weight of the future that burdens us, but rather the weight of the present pressing upon us. He suggested that the pain we associate with the future actually occurs in the present. Interestingly, it's not that the future is happening in the present. Rather, when we excessively worry about future events, we make our lives painful as we endure them in our imagination. Allowing future events to determine our present can be detrimental. So what wisdom did Marcus Aurelius impart regarding excessive concern for the future? Consider the following quote, Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it if you have to with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. He urged us not to dwell on the terrible possibilities, but to face the situation as it arises, emphasizing that if we can handle the present, we can also handle the future. Living in the present moment, Marcus Aurelius realized that he could endure it, leading him to question why he couldn't cope with what lay ahead. This attitude aligns with the concept of amor fati, the love and acceptance of fate, fortified by the confidence that if you can endure the present, you can navigate the future. He reminded himself not to dwell on adverse outcomes, but instead focused on how to manage the current moment. This perspective underscores the idea of amor fati, loving one's own fate, with the belief that enduring the present empowers us to navigate what lies ahead. Turning to the past, Marcus Aurelius acknowledged the ephemeral nature of life, 
which quickly disappears into the vast world beyond our reach. Like the future, the past resides in a realm where we cannot intervene. What's done is done, and barring the invention of a time machine, we cannot change it. Marcus Aurelius wisely stated, Remember that man lives only in the present. In this fleeting instant, all the rest of his life is either past and gone or not yet revealed. Consequently, he advised us to regard the past as unimportant and devoid of meaning in the present. It's not that past events have no influence on the present, nor that we cannot learn from them. We can certainly glean insights from the past. However, working with the past is beyond our reach, as memories of past events are often hazy, and ascertaining precise details can be challenging due to differing personal recollections and perspectives. Nonetheless, we often find ourselves preoccupied with past events, repeatedly revisiting them. In our minds, we often find ourselves revisiting the past and re-experiencing the pain it once caused. Some may believe that by dwelling on the past, we can exert some control over it, but this is an illusion. The past is gone, and what remains are merely thoughts about what has disappeared and can never return. Many people express regrets, saying, I wish I had done that differently, but they are wishing for the impossible. These thoughts do not yield any benefit. Instead, they stir desires that can never be fulfilled. Marcus Aurelius, rather than fixating on past events themselves, directs his focus on how he deals with them. We cannot alter past events, and it's unlikely that we could have controlled them when they occurred. However, we do have the ability to control how we respond to these past events. Initially, we may view the past as a collection of unfortunate circumstances, perhaps a challenging childhood, the ending of significant relationships, or business endeavors that fell short of our expectations. Nonetheless, the past is not solely a sequence of unfortunate events, but an integral part of our personal journey. It can serve as a means for learning, growth, and maturation. The difficulties and failures of the past provide opportunities to better understand ourselves, explore our limits, and discover ways to overcome challenges. These experiences become valuable lessons, strengthening us and preparing us to face future obstacles. Consider the past as an inseparable part of your life story, not the sole determinant of your destiny. It serves as a source of inspiration, urging you to move forward and shape your future with the wisdom gained from your past experiences. To build a better future, it's crucial not to let the past shape your thinking and decisions. Instead, use it as a source of strength and confidence to face upcoming challenges. For Marcus Aurelius, the essence of events is not their importance. What truly matters is how one deals with them. He poses a thought-provoking question. Can something be deemed unfortunate if it doesn't contradict the essence of human nature? In other words, can something violate the will of nature if it doesn't go against it? Do you even know the will of nature? Marcus emphasizes that what has happened may have prevented you from manifesting qualities such as justice, prosperity, self-control, right determination, honesty, and humility, qualities that allow your true nature to flourish. However, Marcus Aurelius doesn't entirely dismiss the value of the past. He views it as a guide, observing how events unfold and repeat themselves in cycles. Regarding the future, our imagination often runs wild, generating various scenarios, many of which may never come to pass. Initially, we contemplate how to manage potential outcomes while trembling in fear of an uncertain future. Sometimes, what occurs aligns with our predictions, while other times, fate surprises us with unforeseen events, both for better or worse. People often invest significant time and effort in preparing for an ideal retirement, only to find that life doesn't always adhere to their plans. Instead of giving up, Marcus suggests learning to adapt to changes and adjusting plans to create a meaningful and fulfilling retirement. Facing a late-stage cancer diagnosis with only a few months left to live on the brink of the golden years can be challenging. The possibility of such events leads to constant worries, pondering the best and worst-case scenarios. However, as Seneca suggested, the future troubles us because we dwell on it. In reality, it doesn't exist outside of our thoughts. 
If you were faced with a life-threatening cancer diagnosis, what should prevent you from savoring today and relishing every precious moment of your life? Stand tall, hold your head high, regardless of what you're going through, be it trivial or significant. Don your finest clothes and your best shoes, creating moments that will endure long after you've gone. Marcus Aurelius, in his wisdom, focuses on his own response to events that are beyond our control. The past is something we cannot change, and perhaps we can't even control it when it unfolds in the present. However, we can control how we face these events. Initially, we may perceive the past as a series of unfortunate circumstances, a challenging childhood, the dissolution of a friendship or business endeavors that did not yield the expected results. For Marcus Aurelius, the essence of these events is not of paramount importance. What truly matters is how he handles them. He poses a profound question. Can something be deemed a true disaster if it doesn't contradict the essence of human nature? Can we label something as disastrous if it does not run counter to the will of nature? Do we even understand what the will of nature truly is? Have the events that have transpired prevented you from embodying qualities like justice, generosity, self-control, sound judgment, honesty, humility, and authenticity? Qualities that enable your natural essence to flourish. Interestingly, Marcus Aurelius did not entirely discard the value of the past. He regarded the past as a guide, a source of observation for understanding how events unfold and repeat themselves in cycles. In the present moment, Marcus Aurelius recognized that we find ourselves in a narrow field within our grasp, while the past and the future stretch out as vast areas beyond our control. The present exists only for a fleeting moment, with the rest of our lives either having passed or remaining undisclosed. Yet, we often divert our attention away from the present, becoming discontented with the unfolding of life at this very moment. This dissatisfaction may arise when things deviate from our plans or when our desires remain unfulfilled. Consequently, the present moment can become a painful confinement as we either endure it under the dominion of the future or cling to the fleeting present. Marcus Aurelius offers advice on how to approach the present moment. He encourages us to fully embrace it as it is and enjoy it without letting our emotions be dominated by our current circumstances, even if we don't particularly like what's happening or cling to what we possess. He believed that the unfolding of the world is beyond our control, but our reaction to it is well within our control. While we cannot manipulate external events, we can control how we respond to them. Consider, for example, a difficult childhood marked by numerous obstacles and hardships. It might be tempting to label this past as a series of misfortunes. However, in line with Marcus Aurelius's philosophy, the crucial aspect is not to categorize these events as disasters, but rather to focus on how you choose to react to them. He believed that if you do not view these actual events as disasters, they will not harm you. It's all about perspective. Instead of dwelling on the hardships of the past, Shift your focus to how these experiences have contributed to your strength and resilience. By doing so, you acknowledge the transformative power of these experiences, making you stronger and better prepared to navigate life's challenges. Aligned with Stoic philosophy, Marcus Aurelius found guidance in the laws of nature. He understood that resisting nature or harboring anger and sadness towards it would make him a deserter, diverging from the harmonious alignment he should seek with it. Imagine you are facing a relatively challenging situation in your personal life, having lost an important relationship and feeling sadness and desperation. In line with Stoic philosophy, you can approach this situation as follows. Acceptance. Begin by accepting the situation. Understand that losing the relationship is a part of life and you cannot fully control it. What truly matters is how you choose to handle it. Focus on self-worth rather than blaming yourself or succumbing to hopelessness. Concentrate on nurturing your self-worth from within. Invest in self-improvement. Learn and grow. Consider the loss of the relationship as an opportunity for personal growth and learning. Reflect on the lessons you can draw from this experience and how it can contribute to your inner strength. Live in the present. Avoid dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. 
Redirect your focus to the present. Engage in activities that bring you joy and find contentment in the here and now. Connect with others. If you're feeling isolated, seek connections within your community or with friends. Share your emotions and seek support, recognizing that you don't have to navigate difficult times alone. Emotional management. Learn to manage and control your emotions rather than allowing them to control you. This is the art of living, a mastery over your inner world, which is more enduring than external circumstances that are often unstable, fragile, and unpredictable. By embracing these stoic principles, you can find resilience, inner strength, and contentment, regardless of the external challenges life may present. What truly matters are the events we face. This is what we should care about and hold on to. Strive to live in the present, regardless of the circumstances you are facing. Begin the process of change with something within your reach. Just start. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't dwell on the past and don't overly fixate on the future. Focus on what's right in front of you and simply take that first step. While your motivation may waver at times, maintain persistence and consistency in everything you do. Before concluding, I'd like to share an intriguing story about how Marcus Aurelius completely transformed the life of a man named John. John, a young and enthusiastic individual, used to lead a stressful and pressure-filled life. Working daily in a large company left him feeling exhausted and unmotivated. During this challenging period, John delved into the philosophy of Marcus Aurelius, learning how to live a meaningful life and cultivate a moral soul. The words of Marcus Aurelius deeply resonated with John, inspiring him to delve further into Stoicism and incorporate its principles into his daily life. He learned to face work-related pressures with greater composure, manage stress effectively, and prioritize the most important values in life. Thanks to Marcus Aurelius, John's life underwent a profound transformation. He became happier, more confident, and better equipped to confront life's challenges. John's life is no longer as stressful as before, and he has experienced a significant shift in his thinking and spirituality. This story serves as a reminder that life is an ongoing journey filled with precious moments that can profoundly alter our paths for the better. Through the reflections of Marcus Aurelius, we are offered profound insights about life, success, and happiness. This article provides valuable suggestions and wisdom from one of history's greatest philosophers. It's time to infuse your life with a fresh perspective. Take a moment to enjoy this video, a window into a world of new discoveries and understanding. We strongly believe that these authentic moments will inspire you and deepen your understanding. If this video has touched your heart, please don't hesitate to like and share it with everyone around you. Let's create a community enriched with knowledge and rich experiences. Each share is a step toward expanding our world. Join us on this YouTube channel, where every video is a new adventure, unlocking doors to endless insights and inspiration. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss an exciting journey. We eagerly anticipate walking alongside you on the path to progress and enhancing the quality of life. Thank you for being a part of this journey and we can't wait to share more magic with you in the future. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.